The Owen James Report is brought to you by NCB Capital Markets. The journey to success and a secure financial future begins with the right partner. And as that partner, NCB Capital Markets commits to providing you the right advice. Introducing NCB Cap Funds or Unit Trust Products, Money Market Fund, Bond Fund and Equity Fund. Each designed to meet your individual needs and goals. Talk to an NCB Capital Markets Wealth Advisor today about how we can help to make your money work as hard as you do. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. National Commercial Bank Group, which last year, February, delayed its listing of 258 million U.S. dollars worth of shares on the New York Stock Exchange on pricing concerns by investors, says as Jamaica's economic conditions and investor confidence improve, such a listing could be considered. NCB's managing director Patrick Hilton was answering my question at the banking group's meeting of the minds media breakfast today. What we have to continue to do is to monitor the environment there to see how, how investor sentiment is towards Jamaican risk. Um, and, you know, whenever you get um, clarity in terms of the feedback that you know there is a positive sentiment to this type of transaction is when we have to make the decision you know the, the, do we go forward and and and, and when so so it's something that i mean if we look at even there are several factors so that go into that risk is the major factor at this point. so so let's say country risk in the sense that people want to see the program sustained over time and to see the institution perform within that economic environment. So you can't separate the two things. Hilton also said unequivocally that despite the acquisitions in the financial sector at this time, the bank had no plans for such acquisitions and was more focused on driving efficiency within the organization. On another issue, Hilton says NCB, in its quest to improve efficiency, will be equipping all its branches island-wide with smart technology, which has been at about six branches since late last year. The cost of this exercise is half a billion Jamaican dollars. On the foreign exchange market, both the benchmark U.S. dollar and sterling strengthened against the Jamaican dollar, whilst the Canadian dollar weakened. The U.S. dollar strengthened by 10 Jamaican cents, closing at an average selling rate of $107.98. The British pound advanced by 18 cents Jamaican to close at $180.79. News on the Jamaican Stock Exchange now. Losses by a mix of financial and manufacturing stocks triggered falls in the indices today. The main JC index declined by 352 points or two-fifths of 1%. 32 stocks traded, with 7 advancing, 12 declining and 13 holding firm. Now finally, on the global scene, the International Monetary Fund is warning that prolonged market turmoil in emerging markets and deflation in the Eurozone are threatening the world's growth prospects and its own global growth projection of 3.7%. An IMF staff report prepared for central bankers and finance ministers from the 20 richest economies, the so-called G20, says recovery is still weak and significant downside risks remain. The report says market volatility from Turkey to Brazil is threatening its own growth forecast. And that's the Owen James report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by NCB Capital Markets. Talk to an NCB Capital Markets Wealth Advisor today about how we can help to make your money work as hard as you do.